Welcome to our SG Midweek Devotion. Today, we are taking a scripture from Psalm 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will make them know his covenant. The benefits of fearing the Lord and offering him reverence and praise are immense and endure forever. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and reverencing him is a fountain of life to all who believe. The fear of the Lord is clean and wholesome and it provides God's people with wise counsel. It bestows on us many spiritual riches honor, confidence, and most of all, life. And knowledge of the Holy One provides us with a place of refuge. In Proverbs, the man or woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. While in Psalms, we hear that the intimate counsel of the Lord is for those who fear him so that they may know the truth. David was a man who feared the Lord. He trusted God and honored his name in good times and when the enemy came in like a flood. And in Psalm 25, David presents us yet with another incredible benefit that is given to all who fear the Lord and trust him with your whole heart. The secret of the Lord is for those who fear him, David wrote. And the Lord will make them know his covenant. The intimate counsel of God is for those who honor him, so that they may know him personally and understand his wise ways. David loved the Lord and lifted up his soul to God morning by morning. And in the twilight hours, his heart turned once again to his Savior. He acknowledged that God was in ultimate control of every situation he faced. Even when the enemies clamored against him or dealt treacherously with him, he acknowledged that the Lord was his God of salvation and that the sins of his youth would be remembered no more. In that psalm, David begins by exploring God's faithfulness in many areas that impact every one of our lives, after which he made a statement that has intrigued countless number of people. He proclaimed that the secret things of the law, the plans and purposes of God, that he alone knows about, have been made known to those who fear him. While so much of our holy God is unknowable and his ways are past finding out, we discover that the intimate counsel of God is made known to those that reverence him and that he will reveal to us the deeper meaning of his covenant promises. While sin has placed an irreversible and irreconcilable barrier between God and man, nevertheless, in his grace, he has made his secret thoughts known to those that trust him and revealed to us things that are hidden from the ungodly. There are many things about the eternal, immortal, omniscient God that can never be discovered or rooted out by mortal means. In Deuteronomy, we read 
the secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but the things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever. God in his grace has chosen to reveal certain things to those that fear him, but this knowledge can never be discovered by man's intellect, nor by Satan's cunning. The ungodly cannot discern the things of God, nor can it be worked out through human calculations, a lifetime study, a privileged pedigree, or magical means, for there is a hiding of his power from the ungodly. All God's ways are concealed from the prying eyes of unbelievers, false prophets, pagan people, principalities and powers, and those that despise his name. However, his plans and his purposes have been made known to those that fear him, believe his word for their salvation, honor his holy name. To them, the promise is given that God will give understanding of his covenant promises. The covenant that the Lord will make known to those who fear him is the new and better covenant in Christ's blood. It is a covenant that was cut at Calvary. It is a covenant that will be fully and finally rectified when Christ returns to Jerusalem as King of Kings and Israel crowns him as Lord of all. It is the covenant through which the church has been blessed and for which we have been made ministers. There are many material blessings that shine down on those who love and fear the Lord, for which we rejoice with exceeding great joy. However, the greatest blessings of all are the abundant spiritual blessings we have received through faith in our crucified and risen Savior for the means of grace and the hope of glory. The secret of the Lord are beyond our human comprehension, for they relate to the new and better covenant, where forgiveness of sin and life everlasting are two of the many hidden secrets the Lord has already made known to all who fear him. He guides us into all truth through his spirit. He teaches us all things. He comes to fellowship with us every morning and he communes with us in the cool of the evening. He instructs us in the way we should go and has an inheritance that is kept for us in heaven. Eye has not seen and ear has not heard. The secret things the Lord has prepared for those that fear him and the best is yet to come. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you. We thank you for your mercy, your compassion, your peace and love. Thank you for blessing all who trust you with so many spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Thank you that in Christ Jesus, you have revealed the secret things of your heart to me and to all who fear your name. Thank you that by your grace of God, I am what I am in Christ Jesus, my Lord, in whose name I pray. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, look to the Lord and all will be well. Have a pleasant week and God bless.